So ever since I started my fitness journey about 12 years ago, I've been obsessed with finding out what separates those that get great results versus those that keep struggling, going from one failed diet or training program to the next one, always coming up with different reasons for why it didn't work out. Because there are some things that the successful minority is doing that the rest isn't. And what I'm gonna share with you in this video is exactly that. And this will put you ahead of 90% of other people in the gym. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing that you can do to take your results to the next level is to embrace the data-driven approach. And this is what I personally also had to do to go beyond newbie gains. I had to start quantifying my actions and my results. I had to start viewing my fitness as a system where you have an input and you have an output. As a part of your input, you have the foods that you eat, your total calories, macros, micros, the types of training you do, your step count, how many hours of sleep you have, and your overall healthy habits. And then as a result of that, you have your output, you have your body weight, body fat percentage, you have your health markers, you have how strong you are, how much energy you have, and overall how you feel. And you want to have clear data on both sides in order to be able to tell what's working and what isn't. And I've done a lot of surveys in this over the years and I've talked to thousands of people and it's clear as daylight. Most people, when it comes to their fitness, are just winging it. They're eyeballing their food intake, they're not tracking their macros consistently, they're not regularly weighing themselves, they're not taking progress photos, they're not taking any measurements, and they're not keeping a workout log. And if you ask them what phase they're in, whether it's fat loss, lean bulking, or recomping, they can't tell you. They don't know. And how can you fix something when you don't even know what's broken in the first place? You can only go so far with winging it. Maybe you can get away with it for the first six months, maybe even up to a year, if your goal is just to be consistent and to keep showing up and to build a habit. But once you've gone through that and you are showing up but you're not seeing results, you need to start looking at the numbers. And there's really no excuse. All the apps, the spreadsheets, the tools, the trackers are there. They give you the ultimate control over the process. You can start quantifying, you can start troubleshooting what's wrong, you start making adjustments. Because without quantifying this process, you're essentially guessing and your progress will be very limited. Now, the second thing that I've noticed with those that are getting great results is that their approach keeps evolving over time. And the truth is, if your understanding of nutrition and training is the same today as it was a year ago or three years ago, you really haven't improved that much. The question is, is this even a priority? Do you even care about getting these results? And one part of this is staying up to date with the research, watching videos, listening to some podcasts, staying up to date with some books. The other part of this is listening to your own body's feedback and learning what works better for you as a unique individual. Maybe you respond great to skipping breakfast and some intermittent fasting makes your calorie deficit much easier. Maybe it's the exact opposite. Anytime you try to skip breakfast, you're much hungrier throughout the day and the whole process is much more difficult. Maybe you realize there are certain exercises in the gym that you connect with really well that you can progress and then you realize that over time it gives you way better results or there's a certain sleeping routine that you wake up more rested or you have more energy and you're less hungry maybe you realize that every time you hit the like button in my videos that you're seeing better gains these are all very valuable things to know because at the end of the day, you are a unique individual. And the more advanced you get, the more important it is that you can double down on what your body responds to the best. Generic programs are nothing more than a starting point. There is no one size fits all solution. And to get to the next level, it's gonna require a lot of self-awareness and paying attention. That's how you develop your own unique approach that can be a part of your lifestyle. And then you evolve that approach over time. Now, the third thing that I've seen with those that get ahead and see results faster, is that they never stop putting in the hard work. Because no matter how much you know about this stuff, the fundamental principle of pushing yourself and getting outside of your comfort zone still applies. And there's this idea that the more you know about training and nutrition, that at some point you'll know so much that you'll be able to put in less work and still get amazing results. And that's simply not true. A smarter approach just allows you to get more out of the effort, but it cannot replace effort. Effort still has to be there. The effort to push your set near failure in the gym while maintaining good technique. The effort to prepare your meals ahead of time. The effort to track your calories. The effort to get to bed on time. Progress doesn't happen if you're coasting by within your comfort zone. If your current program feels like it's not challenging you, 
at best, it's just going to maintain what you currently have, but it's not going to get you any further than that. Most people underestimate how far you can go simply by outworking everybody else. And if I had a scenario where I had to bet on someone who has a perfectly dialed in scientific routine, all the best practices, but they're not training as hard versus someone who is training really, really hard, but they have some random slap together routine. I'm gonna bet on that hardworking person because I've seen it time after time. Hard work is non-negotiable. At some point, you're gonna be completely stuck unless you can give it your 100%. Most people are very quick to blame their programs while in reality, what I'm seeing is a lot of that can be fixed and mitigated simply by working harder. Now, the fourth thing that I've seen that the successful minority has that the rest of the herd doesn't is massive amounts of patience. The ability to follow a routine day in, day out, doing the work for months and years, meal by meal, workout by workout, day by day, slowly getting better and better. It's about consistency and focus. They don't abandon ship at the first sign of a plateau or if the weight scale goes up one day. They don't allow themselves to get distracted by some new shiny program. They know that great results take time and they're committed to a healthy lifestyle long term. They're going to do this for as long as it takes to see results. They're going to keep looking and finding solutions. And patients like this, this level of discipline, effort over a longer period of time is fundamental to achieving exceptional results. Now, the fifth element that I see with those that are most successful is that they actively seek accountability because naturally we don't like to be accountable. Nobody likes to be called out at work when you're late delivering your project or have to tell your coach that you missed a bunch of workouts for no real reason, except that you were just lazy and you procrastinated or even simple things like stepping on the weight scale after you know that you over the day before and the number is going to go up. Most people avoid these moments of accountability. It doesn't feel good. And it's not about whether you're going to have a snack or not or miss a workout sometimes. That can happen to anybody. It's really about whether you're in denial and avoidance mode or are you aware of this and you're actively working to improve it? Because those that do really well, they can quickly recognize these excuses and rationalizations and they call themselves out on it. And then they look for accountability to create leverage to prevent this from happening in the future. They share their goals publicly. They connect with other people on the fitness journey who are also looking to lose body fat and build muscle. They seek out coaches to get objective feedback and guidance and get the truth. And sometimes that truth can be really hard to hear especially when you're failing, but it might be what you need to hear to wake up and start doing better. And these are the things that I've seen separate that small percentage of individuals that just seem to be getting way better results than everybody else. Then it can also replicate on your own journey. Now, the other thing that's going to help you be more successful on your own journey is making sure you hit that subscribe button below. Details for coaching. If you're looking for that accountability and feedback and work with me are in the description below. So check those out as well. And I'm going to see you in my next video.